okay so this is the part 3 of the day 1 series and uh, what we're gonna do now is actually uh, I saw some adjustments we can do uh, grab this here go to edge constraint and uh, just drop that down scale to and straighten that out um, the reason why I'm doing that because this is actually gonna be a gap and uh, this line would be fit perfect uh, so keep it at its uh, front view make sure everything is still fine yep so alright as I said what we're gonna be doing is uh, making the shooting the hood so, so we're gonna do grab these ones and uh, take them all the way to the top and uh, let's just align them So something like that. Uh, once again, I haven't got time to actually make it perfect, but when you will be modeling, take as much time as you want. Uh, the more time you take, as I said, the better it's going to look. And uh, what you can do now is actually take these ones to here, and uh, let's just align them. These blueprints are really out, really, really out. So it's kind of weird. Mm, we've got something like so what we can do now it's actually we might as well unfreeze them and uh, we can forward a little bit to match up something like that and as you can see everything stayed kind of the same nothing really changed so let's grab them and uh, just pull them out one by one. Grab this edge, and uh, what you can do now is make one single copy from. Actually, no. Let's make one, two, three. And, uh, let's align them right to here. see we need to align it properly let's go to the right viewport and you can see it's a mess to look nothing like it's supposed to so adjust is needed my case not really much uh, so grab this edge again dot view and uh, let's drag it back a few more times right viewport and uh, See, we need something like that. And, uh, we'll just, I just want to pull the sideways a little bit to get the scale chair going. Uh, I'm gonna go to the front viewport, and uh, as you can see, it's a little bit out. So, and, uh, what we will need to do is make a cut uh, in front bumper. So let's do that with this connect and uh, do this perspective Z Alt X starting to flatten out. Don't want that. And, uh, what we're going to do is simply target all this and this in its place. And, uh, as you can see, this is what we got. This looks pretty good, but we still got some job to do. So let's leave that. Hold Alt and deselect all of these. Uh, drag that forwards. Actually, let's straighten that out. This will almost really matter. Um, just thinking now. See, I never mold this car before, that's the first time I'm doing it, so. I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna mess up too bad. Actually, let's just go with the middle straight up to the middle, like so. Let's go to the right viewport, 
I'll just align them properly. And I just pulled out just a bit too much. So let's go right again, and uh, let's just align these. Oops, align these ones to match up. And uh, on while I was on the break, I was really learning a lot about 3ds Max and Lightning, so. I think I'm, I'm gonna make rendering tutorial with it as well. So let's go to top reports. But that's gonna be the ass to do. So something like so. Front reports, right reports. I need to move this down a bit. Front. Let's rig that. Connect and uh, stinking the best thing somewhere. Like somewhere around here might be codes and uh, then pull this down to here. Like we bought, I just pull this one out, send this one. So I'm just trying to get everything lined up sorry about that my mic fell off so um well we can delete all this thing do really need it what we do need though is this right here so let's drag this forward um Mm, just let me think. All right, let's do that. Uh, let's trick this and uh, connect once, twice, three times. Let's begin with one time and uh, let's just move that up just a little bit to get it curvature. And uh, rig, connect. That's pretty good. And uh, what we can do actually now is uh, grab all of these, pull them down. Grab this and target well this to this and uh, well these two as well. Increase the threshold. There you go. And uh, that's something I was looking for. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's loop this line. Edge constraint. That I just pull this back and uh, take off the edge constraint. And, uh, let's do that. Right viewport, and uh, let's do the same with everyone, all of these sides. Okay, looks pretty good. Mm, let's go to perspective, see what we got. Okay, no, I don't like that. You know what, let's just delete these ones. I can work that out when I will be turbo smoothing it. Can add a different angle. Yeah, so he's gonna fix that up probably when I will go to smooth this out. Uh, oh, I need this. Which would probably work. Alt X. Let's try to follow the bits. Let's align these ones. Should have done that earlier. This would have helped me a lot. Okay, so let's move the front. Move these ones down. This one down. This one down around here. Right, reports and uh, maintain the curve. So there we've got, we've got something that looks like a front of the car. So let's see what we got. So that yeah. I think that's about it for this part of the video. Um, as you can see what's happening here. It's a flat spot. And I hate these. So what you can do is just drag it forward a bit. 
so yeah that's the thing that's about it for this video can add a quote here if you wanna I'm just gonna smooth everything out a little bit well, as you can see smooth everything out so it looks a little bit nicer so yeah this is the end of this video and uh, the next part will be extruding the white to the back so thanks for watching and uh, see you there